Hi Ben here, welcome back to the channel and in this video I'm going to be using the Tiny SA Spectrum Analyzer to test out 10 budget radios to see if any of them meet the required specifications. So first of all, let's get the Tiny SA set up then. So we're going to be using the low input and uh, let's need to tap the screen and we'll go over to the uh, screen record and we're going to first of all uh, look for measuring a harmonic. So I've clicked measure, I've clicked harmonic and then all these are going to be done on exactly the same frequency. So we're going to go to 145.500 megahertz and we need to set the attenuation because as always i'm going to be using the uh, 40 db uh, 10 watt attenuator so that we don't blow up the uh, tiny sa so we need to take that into account so let's go to uh, tap the screen and we're going to go to uh, level and you probably seen me do this in previous videos if you've been watching for a while external gain and that's going to be minus 40 decibels so 40 minus 40 and then we press x1 uh, which has given us that attenuation and we're also going to draw a line so if i go to uh, back and then display draw line and we're going to draw a line at minus 10 decibels uh, the reason being is because most um, fundamental signals that we're going to see are going to be about plus 30 dBs and for things to be within spec uh, the harmonic that we're going to see on the screen if there is one uh, should be uh, at least uh, negative 40 beyond the the fundamental so that will just give us a, a rough idea uh, roughly or a bit of a guide as to uh, of how the radio is performing so we've got that set up and we're screen recording as well, so let's get the first radio connected. So first up then is the Quansheng UVK599. And you can see our fundamental is about yeah 30 decibels, which is where I thought it would be. And then if you look just to the right hand or top right hand side of the screen you can see that that first harmonic is a little number two a triangle and a one and a little plus sign it will say um 145.2 it's not quite accurate because of the the uh the size of the screen that we're looking at and you can see that the uh the first harmonic there with the number two marker is just under the blue line is at negative 47 decibels so that's a pass that uh that's that's fairly clean. That is uh, that's working okay. So that's the Quan Cheng UVK five ninety nine. Let's move on to the next radio. Next up then is the Baofeng UV seventeen Pro. And straight away you can see that's a massive fail. The fundamental uh, top left there, uh, the number one marker is thirty two point nine decibels. Uh, and then you can see our blue line there, which uh, we're hoping that the uh, the second one's going to be below. But you can see our, our number two pointer, our first harmonic, uh, is coming in at minus 17 decibels underneath the fundamental. So, uh, yeah, that one's a fail, unfortunately. So let's now try the UV28. And as I expected, that's um, also failed. That's failed even worse than the 17. That one, uh, you can see the fundamental 31, roughly, decibels. And then negative 9, maybe, if you're lucky. Negative 8.8, .8, something like that. So, uh, yeah, again, another massive fail, unfortunately. So next we'll try the UV25 and I expect we're going to get similar results because like I say these are all similar radios and they're running similar firmware and again we can see not even we just about got a 30 dB signal on the fundamental and then 
the uh, harmonic is negative six. So again, a really poor uh, fail by the uh, UV25, which is a shame because it's a, uh, a beast of a radio and I quite like that one. So next, let's move on to the TID radios then, starting off with the TDH3, the smaller of the two. And you can see our fundamental is creeping up there to sort of just below 30. So there you go, 27, 27 and a half dBs, maybe 28 now. There you go, and just letting that settle down. So we're 28 dBs. Again, looking at our blue line, sort of our baseline, you can see that the first harmonic where the number two pointer is, is negative 46 decibels below so uh, well within the 40 dbs allowed so that's definitely a pass so uh, yeah nice clean signal off the tdh3 let's try the tdh8 and as we let the tdh8 settle down you can see that the, uh, the harmonic has pretty much disappeared altogether. So uh, a really, really clean signal and 100% pass by the uh, TID Radio TDH8. So uh, yeah, really pleased with that one. Again, another one of my favourites, I think, is the TDH8. So let's move on to the Retivises then. So this time we've got the Retivis RT85. And straight away, as soon as I key the PTT, uh, you can see we've got a, uh, a good clean radio here. That harmonic disappears straight away. The fundamentals plus 31 and a half, 31 point, yeah, 31.5 decibels. And let's say the, uh, the uh, minute harmonic that was there has disappeared altogether. So again, another really nice clean radio there by Retivus. So we move on to the RA685. And... Uh, Let's see if this one's going to be just as good. So again, another good clean radio. Not quite as good as the previous one, but you can see we've got plus 34.2 or 3, maybe even 4 decibels on the fundamental. And then on that harmonic, again, where the number 2 pointer is, uh, top right-hand side of the screen, you can see we're negative 54 and a half. So again, well under that 40 dBs uh, negative that we need to be within so uh, yeah another good clean radio pass for a retivis and then finally let's move on to the two rad tails starting with the rad tail rt 900 and again as you can see unfortunately the rt 900 has failed the fundamental is 35 decibels above and then the first harmonic is negative 26. So, uh, yeah, like I said before, we're looking for negative 40 or more, and we've only got negative 26. So, not quite as good as a, not quite as bad as, should I say, as the uh, the Bayer Fangs, but uh, still a fail, unfortunately, for the Radtel RT900. Let's give the uh, RT860 a, uh, a go and see if that can pass. So you can see that the Radtel RT860 has definitely performed better than the RT800 then, with the fundamental at about 30 dBs, and then, wow, look, that uh, that harmonic uh, is virtually disappeared. It's negative 62 at the moment, so that might even disappear altogether. So uh, almost as good as the uh, the Retivis or the, uh, the TID radio there. So, uh, yeah, not a bad radio, that Radtel RT860. 860 when it comes to uh, VHF anyway so uh, unfortunately the same couldn't be said for um, for 27 megahertz trying to transmit on there but yeah on the on the, the two meter band that's absolutely fine so as always I hope you've enjoyed the video if you have please leave us a comment maybe give us a like and uh, please consider subscribing it's absolutely free of charge to uh, hit that subscribe button and it'll keep you up to date on future videos so until next time 73